Resources. Sure. Good morning, everyone. Uh, hopefully, everyone can see my uh, slides okay. Yep. Um, fantastic. So, uh, I just want to spend the next couple of minutes uh, introducing you to Simwood for those who may not know Simwood and, and then the resources that we've got this year for Tad Hack. The, uh, as, as you're probably aware, uh, Simwood started as a, as a UK company, as a voice wholesaler. Um, over the last three years, both through growth and through acquisition, we've kind of added multiple platforms here. So we have everything from network operator and wholesaler at the bottom to uh, hosted PBX platform and, uh, and uh, a reseller platform in the middle and then some end user uh, specific content uh, at, at the kind of the top of the stack there. Um, but we're not just a UK company. We've also grown uh, internationally. We have uh, points of presence around the world, um, several in the UK, uh, both East Coast and West Coast in the United States, and then a small point of presence in Singapore for our uh, Simwood Meet uh, video service as well. And I won't spend too much time on this slide, but I uh, really want to just very briefly you know, say that, that you know, building strong networks is in our DNA. Um, we don't just resell somebody else's platform. We build our platform. We control as much of the platform where it makes sense to, uh, and then use commodity com computing in, in the cloud for things where, it does, where we don't have to have uh, contr you know, exact control of the, of the network. Um, we run a fiber ring around London and then uh, have connections to other, other spots in the UK, for example. This is one of the ways that we just provide quality uh, service to our customers. Um, on the uh, on the product offering side, we have kind of wholesale products and partner products. Um, the, the only reason I bring this up is that any of you who might have been involved last year with Tad Hack, uh, we were we were talking about the, the APIs on the wholesale side. Um, this year, we're going to switch gears a little bit, and we're going to do uh, things on our on our partner side with our Simwood Direct product, which is a hosted PBX platform um, that gives you all the all the features you might expect from a from a hosted PBX, you know, extensions and voicemail and IVR menus and you know, whisper and barge and 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 the you know, call routing, time of day routing, you know, call queues, ring groups, all those sorts of things. Um, also, with a full API behind that, so that you can interact with your um, any particular uh, in any particular system you want to. Um, we we've also exposed the the concept of trunks, so you could actually tie this. Um, hosted PBX back to an Astra system or a free switch system or some other uh, PBX that you might be using as part of your uh, hacking over the weekend. So um, we'll, uh, we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, this year we've decided to do uh, support via Slack. Um, we, last year I think we did both Slack and, and, and uh, a video bridge. We're going to do it just via Slack this year. Um, when you go through the registration process, uh, we'll get, get your details and then we'll send you an invitation to our Slack channel. Um, registration, we've had a little bit of trouble getting our registration form up on our website. So in the, in the meantime, we're gonna do a registration via email. You can use this email address here on the screen, tadhack2020 signup at simwood.com. We simply need to know your email address, your, your name, your team name or company name, and a good contact phone number to, to get a hold of you just in case we need to, to reach out to you for some reason. Uh, one thing I'll note about the uh, the accounts that we're building for you on on the Simwa Direct platform, um, these are not for production use, but they are fully featured, just like a production system would be. Um, we're going to include some free calling credit. If for some reason you burn through that calling credit and you need a little bit more, simply reach out to us on the Slack channel. Uh, we'll take a look at your usage and then and bump up that credit. Um, just remember that the accounts will be removed after the event. So if you if you built something interesting, you know, take screenshots, copy copy and paste information, download your recordings, those sorts of things before the end of the before the end of the event. Um, when you uh, when you go through the sign up process with us, we will give you a set of credentials. You can use those uh, for both the the web interface, which will be direct.sibwood.com, as well as the API. Um, our API documentation still points to uh, pbx.sipcentric.com, but you can also use direct.simwood.com for those API calls as well. So I just wanted to call those both out. Either one should work, but uh, I, I didn't want to be to have anyone be confused if they saw uh, either of those URLs there. 
Um, very quickly, just uh, cover what we see as the most common problems when people uh, use our platform. Uh, number one, and making sure you have the proper IP addresses whitelisted in your firewall or access control lists. Um, see our documentation for the full list of, uh, of IP addresses that you'll need to make sure you let through. And uh, we'll give port ranges there as well. Um, Second thing is to make sure you have a proper caller ID value, especially for outbound calls. Um, due to regulations in the UK and elsewhere in the world, we do block calls on invalid caller ID. So please uh, check your caller ID values, make sure that they're valid. And then last but not least, making, make sure that you're uh, using one of the allowed codecs. Um, G711 is always the safest codec to use, ALA or MULA. Yes, it takes a little bit of bandwidth, but uh, it's not that much. So, so you're probably safer using. G711. Last but not least, let's talk about documentation. Um, our API documentation for the SimWood Direct platform is at developer.simwood.com slash direct. That will walk you through authenticating to the system with your credentials, the basics of how we do you know, REST calls, um, what, what you should put in the body, any specific headers you might need to add, those sorts of things, and then the different uh, API endpoints that you can, you can use. Uh, the other thing I'll point out is that uh, we have a, a, a PBX client library written in, in a Node.js module that's linked there. Um, you can use that instead of making individual API calls. If you're if you're if you want to use our JavaScript library, you can use that PBX client library to to do some of the heavy lifting for you. And inside of that uh, that PBX client is an examples directory we, where we've built several, you know, kind of fully fleshed out examples. For example, a WebRTC soft phone that I've linked to there at the bottom of the slide, uh, where you can, you know, have a have a full soft phone that you can play with as as part of your uh, hacking experience, so that you don't have to, you know, use a different uh, endpoint or write an endpoint from scratch. So uh, feel free to use that as an example there that that might be helpful for you as well. And with that, uh, best of luck and all your hacking. I'll turn it back over to Alan. Excellent. Thank you so much, Jared. That was really great. And it's exciting to see all the new capabilities people will be able to hack with on SimWood.